Each year, the University of Portland Student Athlete Advisory Committee hosts a St. Baldrick's head shaving event to raise money for childhood cancer research. With the UP men's soccer team once again taking the lead, student athletes set out to exceed last year's event that raised over $12,000. It's so crazy how many people are just all about it and they love coming out. It's just kind of grown with the whole campus. We have basketball players shaving heads, getting their heads shaved. Tennis players getting their heads shaved. IT guys come, brother Tom's shaving his head, and it's great to see what a community this campus is. I'm out here just to stand in solidarity. It's a good cause. It's really cool what the men's soccer team does and the men's tennis team supports it 100%. I think it just shows how connected the campus is really and especially in the athletic department how close-knit everyone is because as soon as we talked about St. Baldrick's other teams wanted to get in on it. This is my first time shaving my head and during the middle of the season we were talking about uh, St. Baldrick's and shaving our heads goes beyond just a haircut. It's for a good cause and I always want to be able to do stuff that helps other people and as athletes we have a platform to do that. We just use the talent show as another avenue to raise as much money as we can. How much would you like to get for your hair? I would like to at least get, let's say, $50. All right. Everyone really enjoys the fact that we have a talent show, and I think it goes great that we can connect it to St. Baldrick's and raise more money because of the talent show. We got $20. Do I have $21? Back corner. That shows just how generous people are that are here and willing to support a good cause. We want to remember why we're doing this event and talk a little bit about St. Baldrick's. So I would like to ask Anita, Isidro, and Junior to come up. Isidro was diagnosed with cancer when he was five years old. St. Baldrick's is an excellent organization because when kids get cancer, when they're little, a long time ago, they would just give them adult treatment. I'm thankful for St. Baldrick's being around because maybe the second time around wasn't so harmful on him as it was the first time around. It's great having Anita and Isidro and his brother out here just because it's, it's awesome to see what this foundation actually does and who the people that it affects because Isidro is now in remission and hopefully it will stay that way. Isidro, he has battled cancer twice, and so he survived it twice. So I learned about St. Baldrick's when he was in the clinic. Community is getting involved. It means word is getting out there. It means that people can continue to give so that research can continue to be sought out. It's nice to see that it is a foundation that is donating to what it's meaning for. I think it just really reinforces what we're doing, and it's cool to just see what we can do when we are uh, come together and raise a lot of money for a great cause. I thought that was creative. Good job. There you have it right there. Creative and good job. Fantastic job, women's soccer. And in first place. Women's basketball. For us, it's not just having a men's soccer thing, but it's really how can we raise more money? Because as much as it's a soccer event, it's really about the kids that we can help. And so the more teams, the better. And so it's now become an entire athletic department type thing instead of just men's soccer thing. Yeah.